Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, I've got a ton of great emulation news for you. We're talking about Nintendo Switch, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance, as well as PlayStation 1. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC with Yuzu. The progress report for June is just released and there are a bunch of great changes in here. Now we are going over this report at a pretty high level. If you want to check it out in detail, I will leave a link to it in the description below and I highly recommend checking it out. The very first part in the progress report is a PSA for AMD Radeon users and well, of course, Vulkan. So Vulcan drivers, specific Vulcan drivers, specific older Vulcan drivers are causing Yuzu quite a bit of problems. If you do have an AMD Radeon card, you'll want to update your drivers to at least version 22.6.1. However, if you've got a slightly older AMD card and it's no longer supported by AMD and you can't update the drivers anyway, you should be absolutely fine here. It says that Yuzu will use the slower code path and you shouldn't have anything to worry about. Now, if you've got an NVIDIA GPU, things aren't necessarily sunshine and roses either. If you have a recent NVIDIA GPU, like a 3000, 2000, or 1600 series, you should be absolutely fine. However, if you've got an older NVIDIA GPU, like a 1070 or something like that, uh, so they say here 1900, 750, and 745 series, you will have some crashes some minutes into running games using Vulkan. So if by chance you have a slightly older NVIDIA GPU, just make sure not to update your drivers past version 5.12. If you already have, just roll them back. It's not that difficult and I've covered it in a previous video. I'll drop a link to one in the description below. Moving on in this report and they start to mention Project YFC. YFC stands for Subscribe to Mr. Sujano or it stands for yuzu fried chicken, depending on how you want to interpret that. And I'm pretty sure we've talked about this in a previous video or two here, but the very first point of Project YFC states, the full rework of GPU driver based on the reverse engineering and code from Skyline Emulator. Yes, the Nintendo Switch emulator on Android is helping out Switch emulation on PC. In fact, Skyrim can now boot thanks to Bylaws, who is a Skyline developer. Yuzu also implemented some GPU optimizations that delivers a small 1 to 2 frames per second performance boost and also better recovery times after load related stuttering spikes. Now, moving on from GPU to CPU, and we've got some more improvements and optimizations. And just a pro tip here from the Yuzu team if you have an Intel Alder like CPU, make sure to update your BIOS as well as your chipset drivers to get the optimal Yuzu experience. Now, if you're one of those people who likes to play games faster than they should be played, or maybe you're going for a speedrunning world record and want to speed up the game so you can cheat a little bit, not that I would condone that, well, now you absolutely can in Yuzu. The Yuzu team has added a way to unlimit the frame rate in games provided your computer can support it. Hit the emulation menu, hit configure, and then you should find it under limit speed percent. It has come to the Yuzu team's attention that some people are having problems with their antivirus and Yuzu, specifically with ESET. The Yuzu team has put together a few options to help resolve the issue. The last one here I kind of agree with the most. Outright uninstall ESET and use Windows Defender instead. Now looking ahead for Yuzu and the development team is not taking their foot off the gas at all. They have a bunch of future changes planned including continued work on Project Gaia and Project London has just started. Now I don't doubt for a second we'll be hearing a lot more about Project YFC, Gaia and London in the near future and if you want to get an early look at them you can peek around Yuzu's GitHub. Next up here we're still talking about Nintendo Switch but we're talking about Nintendo Switch on Android with Skyline. I can't remember if I reported on this one or not but local multiplayer with Skyline is working. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit is booting and Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship edition is in game. Next up here, I think this is a pretty big one. A brand new Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance emulator has entered the scene. It is called Sky Emu, and it's one you'll probably want to check out. This one's very interesting. It's kind of shaking things up here. The whole purpose of it is to provide a good user experience 
through a good mixture of trade-offs of accuracy, performance, features, and usability. Now, even though SkyEMU is fairly new to the scene, it's got a whole bunch of features. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and if you're on mobile, there is a web app for it. Admittedly here, the web experience is probably not the most ideal on mobile, but I will leave a link to it in the description below if you want to check it out. And if you're on PC, check out this emulator. I mean, in terms of overall accuracy and compatibility for Game Boy Advance, Sky Emu is kind of nailing it. They've even got per-pixel PPU implementation capable of both scanline and mid-scanline effects, which is kind of a first. Now, for those of you asking, yes, I will have a tutorial up sooner or later on this emulator, probably sooner. And yes, the emulator is in very active development, so I can't wait to see what they come out with next. And speaking about active development, last up here we're talking about PlayStation 1 emulation with Duck Station. Yes, Duck Station is still alive, the Retroarch version is absolutely dead, but the PC version of Duck Station and the Android version of Duck Station is still not dead. In fact, on PC, Stenzek has just released a brand new development build. We've got some fixes, we've got some additions, including updating the cheat database. I'm not joking here, I am extremely excited to see Duck Station updated and alive and well. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it was Yuzu, a duck station, are you surprised the PC version got an update, or Sky Emu, are you going to try it out? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, don't tempt fate, save your state.